Diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA, is a serious complication of diabetes, and we do see it in children and youth who have type 1 and less commonly type 2 diabetes. DKA happens when there is acid buildup in the blood called ketones, and this happens when the body does not have enough insulin to move sugar into the cells. The body then starts breaking down fat to use as a fuel, and those fats are converted to ketones, and that is what results in the acid buildup. We do see DKA in several situations. The most common one is in newly diagnosed kids and youth with diabetes, but we also see it with established diabetes, where on a sick day, the regular amounts of insulin that kids and youth use is not enough to prevent ketone production. We also see it at times when not the full amounts of the prescribed insulin are taken, or when there's a pod or a catheter issue that prevents the full delivery of insulin for those who use insulin pump therapy. Kids and youth who develop DKA will not be feeling very well. They'll be thirsty, they will produce large volumes of urine, they will have nausea, vomiting, or tummy pain. Sometimes there is tiredness, shortness of the breath, with a fruity smell to the breath, and sometimes there is sleepiness and confusion as well. One of the key goals of managing diabetes is the prevention of DKA, and that involves taking the recommended amount of insulin prescribed by the diabetes team and on sick days to make sure that the sick day management protocols are followed. And these usually involve frequent checks of the blood sugars, checking ketones when the blood sugars are high or if the patient is not feeling well, making sure that insulin is never omitted, and to take sugary drinks if the patient doesn't feel like eating so that insulin can be used to lower the ketones. And if there is vomiting or if the patient is not feeling well, then to go to the emergency department to be checked out. Please speak with your diabetes team to stay safe with diabetes and to make sure that we can prevent DKA. We're quite concerned that the COVID-19 pandemic has had a negative impact on the health of children at presentation with type 1 diabetes. Together with colleagues from across the country, we looked at the rates of diabetic ketoacidosis at presentation of type 1 diabetes in children during the COVID-19 pandemic. Diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA, is a potentially life-threatening complication of untreated diabetes. We looked at the rates of DKA and the severity of DKA during the first four and a half months of the COVID-19 pandemic and compared this to the same time period the year before, or in the pre-COVID period. We found that rates of DKA presentation were significantly higher during COVID, and the rates of severe DKA were also significantly higher during the COVID-19 pandemic compared to the year before. It is possible that families are hesitant to seek medical care during the pandemic, given the public health recommendations to limit contacts. It is also possible that the move towards virtual care has impacted the rate of DKA, given the limitations of such medical visits. It is in this, our report highlights the importance of encouraging families to seek medical care if they're concerned about their children's health. It's also important to note that while our report highlighted the COVID-19 period, the rates of diabetic ketoacidosis at presentation of type 1 diabetes in children in Canada are unacceptably high even in the pre-COVID period. It is important that the general public and healthcare practitioners are aware of the signs and symptoms of diabetes, including weight loss, increased thirst, uh, the need to use uh, the bathroom more frequently or getting up at night to use the bathroom. These are all signs and symptoms of diabetes, and if they are seen, children should be brought to medical attention immediately. We hope that an increased awareness will improve or decrease the rates of DKA at presentation in children with type 1 diabetes, both during the COVID period and beyond.